Chicken. He's a chicken. He's a chicken. Right. He's a chicken. He's a chicken. The cameras are right here. Bob is right here. He won't come. Come to the camera. Where's Bob? Where I am. Two feet. He wouldn't make the track. Yeah, he can come. I'm right here. I'm right here. I invited Bob to come. Why is he running away? Here we are. Bob said he would follow me and have a four seconds away, but he will not make the conversation. We have to ask the questions why. What is he afraid of? Right there, four seconds away. He can't make the track. All the cameras are here. Where is Bob? Here I stand. Here I am. Here I am. Just only one meter. Here I am. Number no, chicken. Only one meter. One, one meter. meter. One meter. All the cameras there are set up for you. All the cameras are here. Excuse me. All the cameras are here. All the cameras. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, five, six nine cameras. Nine cameras. Where's Bob? Nine cameras. Where's Bob? Nine cameras. Where's Bob? Yes. All the excuses in the world. All the excuses in the world. Excuses? He ain't gonna come, he's afraid. He knows where I am. He doesn't want to do it. He's afraid. Here I am! Here I am! I have asked him already. No, he actually made the claim that he would have a conversation with me and come wherever I was. He yeah, have the actually recording of him saying that. So why is he why is he not coming over? Because he's afraid of the conversation. I'm just gonna take a quick video. All the cameras are with us, all of them. And there's Bob, right there, afraid to actually have a conversation with me. He's does, actually running. Does he need a break or something, or does he need time for preparation? Is that what he needs? I have to ask the question. When I hear Bob speak when I'm not here, he says you must interrogate the Muslim. You must be stern with them. That you must be a crusader against the Muslims invading Britain. Here is a Muslim tourist in the park, one meter from him, and he won't have the conversation. Is that the kind of crusader you want to be? A coward? It surprises me that he behaves this way. Brother Mansour, what does he normally say about Muslims at the park? Does he not challenge us and call us out? Here we are. I invited him to his face. Brother Mansour? I mean, I'm a bit surprised. I mean, someone to simply just walk away. Yes. Has he lost all his confidence? 
it has seems he, that way. Has he somehow become so ignorant about his own faith that he, he's unable to defend? It, to me, it seems like fear in his eyes the second he turned around and uh, saw me. In fact, I even tagged him on Twitter and invited him for a conversation. But running from the cameras, they're all here. This brother invited him, he dismissed the brother's invitation. This brother spoke to him, dismissed this brother's invitation. How can you be a brave Christian apologist but not be willing to discuss what you believe? At some point, you have to face the music. Either it is you have confidence in your beliefs and you can discuss it or you run. I came here four years ago with the Bible. Can someone and, and, and see whether he's okay or he's... I think he needs comfort. Can you go and, and see whether he's, he's ready now? I have him on video saying he'll have the conversation. Yeah, I mean, let's give some the benefit of doubt. Maybe he needs to, um, what's this called? Believe himself. Recompose. Yes, um, yes. And Do some Googling. Get himself <laughs> back to, um, you know, some kind of good composture. Yes. Composure, what's this called? Composure. Composure. Compose himself. Yeah. So let's hope we are going to have a nice discussion with someone who's a crusader in the park. Yes. Well, well, a limp crusader, I will say at this point. Well, he thinks he is one, right? Uh, with a rubber sword. His excuse is that we, brothers, are racist. Okay, racist. so now we have a good pretend, a pretension of like, oh, because he is known to have somehow a racist remark somewhere else there, so I don't want to debate you. He's able to, he's willing to debate everyone else, even the most racist, exactly. but because he's Ijaz, somehow the racist card needs to be played. Well, Isn't that so I mentioned convenient? to him that his brother in Christ is the one that used that term towards me as a South American, and Bob went limp. He had no response because he was not there, and that's the difference. As a South American, I said I refuse to fall into the racism of his brothers in Christ. As a proud Latin American, I reject Bob's racist Sam, Christian remarks. You want to just go and see, ask him whether he's willing to come or he seriously needs uh, some, some help. I mean, I can help Bob if he wants to pull up the references and so on or whatever. I'm Against you. I'm more than happy for him to do it. Yeah. Inshallah. We want a fair debate, right? So, Always and everywhere, yes. I said to him, you approach everybody else. Why are you not approaching him? Why do you want him to come to you? Then he just made his so, I don't want to We'll just give him. another few yes. minutes. Okay. And, and then we if see. that's the case, then it is now... Oh, actually, I can evidence. also go live on TikTok as well at the same time. Yeah. Let's just see. Okay. I did tag him. Let me see. Let's move on. I've not missed it, the doctor. Yeah, he didn't. Mm. Actually, I have the clip where he said he'll have the conversation. Maybe I'll play that for the cameras. That's fine, um, that's fine. So he's, he's willing to. But. Hello, guys. I'm this corner. We got Bob trying to give advice and help. But as typical, he does not want to discuss whether the Bible is reliable or not. Bob here is trying to damage control because he recorded a video with a Christian scholar that basically said, is the Bible reliable? Bob's scholar says it's like a sinking ship. I guess we'll go to that cafe together, lads. Did you notice it? Afraid to discuss the Bible? Look at him. Yeah. Look at him, Brad. We are certain, but don't talk to the Muslims. That's the advice you give. Did you hear right, that? I did. So I just played for the microphones. Bob said, Ijaz, I'll talk to you anytime you want. Did you hear that, Brother Mansu? I heard him. He said it. I don't, it's on don't camera. Don't we have it. Where is he? He said this five minutes ago. Where did he go? He did a run of four years ago. Okay. A runner again. Come with me, follow me. I'm gonna to go to this uh, this local guy, whatever. You know, he thinks. Yeah. Uh, you know, who found, he made racist remarks against me just now, sexist remarks as well. 
a very what strange do you expect from people move. Like them, right? But he said it in front of Bob, and Bob was okay with it. So I guess sexism and racism is okay if you're a brother in Christ, maybe? I, I don't know.